Shandy. Welcome back to another Dear Shandy Bachelor Recap Fashion Police episode, or what did you call it? For Shandy. Fashion Decap. Nice. Excellent. So I actually think this week's will be pretty brief, mm. Andy. Yeah, Overall yeah. thoughts on the fashion? I mean, it was mostly casual stuff, which is fine. Yeah. But and everyone looked very cute. Everyone looked cute. However, not a ton, I think, making the fashion best dress list. No. I only have one best dressed. As do I. Okay. Mine is Susie. <laughs> Cutting right to the chase. We both have Susie in our top spot. Oh, you don't I, seem I, excited. I'm so confident now yeah. that I don't even feel that excited. Yeah. But I am excited. <laughs> I'm hiding it. I'm okay. very excited. I mean, I don't think this is any surprise. You guys all knew what the best look of this week was. Not to say that that's objectively the best look, but you no. all knew what we would deem the best dress right. look. I mean, it was... Because fashion is subjective. It, it was a very close call with Tony. But... <laughs> And his four blue shirt. Yeah, he was really pushing the pushing the envelope there. Yeah. So Susie was wearing a cream knit, one shoulder and off the shoulder meaty or midi dress. This was lovely. Mm-hmm. It was sort of like a, a light sweater material. It was interesting. It was not trying too hard. It just felt so sophisticated. Again, Susie knows how to dress in a way that is sophisticated and sexy and rarely shows a lot of skin. I love that. I, I got to say, Susie's the kind of girl who, like, she gets dressed, she goes out, and she never feels like, oh, I didn't wear the right thing. She's yeah. got con- <laughs> She's got f- f- confidence. <laughs> She had her hair big and wavy here, lots Mm -hmm. of volume, and she wore those same big embellished hoops that we've actually seen on several ladies with several outfits now, which makes me think that maybe they were gifted these hoops. Mm -hmm. And she wore those nude Louboutins that she got on her princess date Mm. last week. Also her makeup, we have to talk about her makeup here. She's so good at amping up her makeup, like really laying on a, a good liner, like a good eyeliner and not making it feel overbearing or too heavy or too made up. She's very good at this. She knows what she's doing. It's almost unfair. Like she feels like a pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She feels like she's already getting the bachelorette treatment. That's how good she is. Yep. Okay. And so I don't have a worse dress this week. This is a very short fashion recap. I'm going to be honest. I did not love Rachel's rose ceremony look. Mm. She wore this wine colored one shoulder ruffly dress and her hair was down. Didn't love this, but it's not even worthy of a dishonorable mention. It just wasn't my favorite look ever. I agree. Meanwhile, you did have a worse dress, Andy. Yeah, I thought Gabby's dress was, uh, I don't think it was ill-fitting. Mm. Is that is that No, I don't wrong? disagree with you. Okay. So Gabby was wearing a satin periwinkle a knee-length dress with a high slit. And it was certainly extremely fitted, bordering yeah. on too fitted. She had a tight center part bun. It was slicked yeah. and gold drop earrings. I don't disagree with you. This dress looks like it was a size too small. Mm-hmm. However, I'm hesitant to award a dress, worst dress based on fit alone, because honestly, if this dress fit her properly, yeah, it would have looked good. Yeah. Had this dress been one size bigger or just maybe been fitted differently, I don't know. She would have looked just stunning in this. I love how she styled it. I love the slicked bun and I did like the earrings. It just wasn't a good fit. And I like the dress. The color was spectacular. Gabby's usually on point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she borrowed the dress. Yeah. Maybe she ran out of dresses. <laughs> Andy, this might be the shortest fashion recap of all time. I mean, I think there's a case to be made here that we should cease the fashion recaps by episode seven. <laughs> You've got a point, actually. Yeah. But I do predict that next week, as the dates become a little more elaborate, you're going to see some cute outfits. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. They're probably going to go somewhere warm and <laughs> excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to go somewhere warm and tropical and really yeah. exciting. And they're going to bring out really cute Oh, outfits. yeah. Someone's going to kill it. Susie's yeah. going to go. She's she's waiting. She's yeah. got like a nuclear <laughs> weapons ready. It's like, oh, you think you've seen good fashion? Uh. I've been saving this till the very end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My final bachelorette audition here. She's going to go full Moad. <laughs> the mother of all dresses. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's a wrap then, Andy, for the shortest Bachelor fashion recap of all time. Yeah. 
Short is good. Yeah. Let us know what you guys thought. If you disagree, agree, maybe you hated more than we did (laughs) or loved more than we did. And we'll see you guys next time on Dear Shandy. Bye. Dear Shandy.